You know, Mike Huckabee actually said the right thing. It took it took three days for him to do it. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there wondering why none of the Republican candidates took any position on this at all for several days. And, you know, I think the, the reason is fairly obvious. You know, you're stirring people up. I mean, here's the here are the here are the actual statistics. This was uh, uh, put together by uh, UNC and Duke University, uh, a study that was published in the New York Times last June. Islam-inspired terror attacks accounted in the United States for 50 fatalities over the past 13 and a half years. I mean, obviously 9-11 is an outlier, but, you know, on average, over 13 and a half years, 50 people were killed in the United States in the name of Islam. 5-0. 50. During that same period... Right-wing extremists, people who identified themselves as conservatives, averaged 337 attacks a year. Okay, this is the Muslims killed 50 people over a 13-year period. 337 attacks per year, causing a total of 254 fatalities over that 13-year period. So, in other words, your odds are seven times more likely in the United States of being killed by a right-wing extremist than by killed being killed by a Muslim ex- extremists. But here's what Mike Huckabee had to say, and I think he's right. Regardless of of why he did it, what he did is domestic terrorism, and what he did is absolutely abominable. It is domestic terrorism. Why aren't we calling this guy a domestic terrorist? I mean, why from the very beginning wasn't he called a domestic terrorist? Well, they say, well, you know, he said uh, uh, no more baby parts, but he said other things, too. Right. Guy goes into a Planned Parenthood clinic, kills three people, wounds, what, seven more, as I recall, or eight more, or nine more, Ye- yelling about baby parts, and pff, we got no idea why he's doing this. I'm telling you, if he'd been wearing a, 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 a Kafka, is, or whatever the, the, the head gear is called that's commonly worn in Iraq... If he had been wearing one of those things and he'd been shouting, you know, Allah Akbar, they would have immediately, and he'd shot up, you know, any building, it would have immediately been, oh, it's, it's Muslim terrorism, right? If he had been a black guy and he'd been shouting black power as he was, sh- as he was killing white people, or for that matter, you know, like Dylan Roof, a white guy who was killing black people, although they, they were very, very reluctant to call D- Dylan Roof a terrorist. It took several days again. For this to be referred to as terror. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the watch more videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.